Looking back on it, 2023 was one of the best years of my life. And I could actually make the argument that it was the best year of my life. I went on my dream spring break vacation to Cabo with my best friends. I graduated from my absolute dream school. I traveled alongside some of my favorite people in the world. My friends and I went to places like Mexico and San Diego and Miami. And I even traveled with my family back to Asia to see our roots. I did a summer internship at my dream company. Childhood actress me would be screaming. And not to mention to do that internship i had to move to one of my favorite places in the entire world new york city i went clubbing and a lot of them <laughs> i met some new and amazing human beings i attended some raves and concerts and of course i had to dance at every single one of them i mean every day of the year was definitely not perfect i had some really sad moments and some low lows if you know you know but the joy i felt this year was actually incomparable and i want to keep these good vibes going into 2024 what do you say we keep these good vibes going? So come along with me as we prep and reset for the new year to start off on a great note. Step number one, create a routine. If you want to achieve any of your goals, consistency is vital and that's why creating a consistent routine is so important. We are truly creatures of habit. We thrive on stability and set processes in our daily lives. If you have a set routine, it becomes a lot easier to manage your time, reduce your stress, and really break up your goals so that they're easier to accomplish for yourself in the long run. To do this, I always start off by listening what I want my non-negotiables to be. This can be a morning workout, making your bed, meditating, reading, whatever that looks like to you. Whatever you think should be vital to your day that you cannot give up. Then from there, you just build the rest of your day around this. And obviously you're gonna have a routine for your whole day, but if you're gonna set a non-negotiable one, I say let it be your mornings. I don't know, to me, something about waking up early and making my bed and doing my skincare, romanticizing, getting ready, making a good healthy breakfast, stuff like that will always start the rest of my day off on a really good foot. So right Write down what you want your daily habits to be and slowly start to work it practically into your everyday life. Step number two, a deep clean. My apartment is in desperate need of a deep clean. I of course clean my bedroom like every week, but I don't think I've deep cleaned, meaning like got on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor since I've moved in. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mop my floor, vacuum, clean my makeup brushes, clean my bathroom. I need a dust. I was kind of decluttering last night. And when I say I saw so much dust, so I definitely need to clean up that. So we're just gonna do it all i guess first order of business for cleaning i knew i had to tackle my vanity my makeup was so so dirty like i love to do the clean girl makeup but my makeup itself is anything but that like it's literally giving sink girl so i went in with a clorox wipe and just disinfected all of it i wiped down the actual packaging itself and then the makeup that was building around it and then i also wiped down the containers that were holding all my products and when i say this made the biggest difference i didn't even realize it all my makeup looked brand spanking new look at my dirty ass brushes i literally cannot recall the last time i've washed these potentially could be years this like purple red mess that is literally from a halloween makeup oh yeah these need to be deep cleaned so to clean my makeup brushes it's pretty simple I took a little bit of some water and i plugged that in my sink and then i mixed in some garnier micellar cleansing water and then dunk all my brushes in trying my best not to get the handle in as much as possible just because i don't want that glue to dissolve and then i just let it sit there for about like 15 to 20 minutes and then while i'm waiting i'm gonna go clean and dust down all the rest of my room i just used some windex and started cleaning all my glass surfaces when it came to dusting i really just needed to dust around the edges and corners of my bedroom space as well as the two desks that i have here by the time i'm done wiping down all my surfaces it's time to go back and to clean my makeup brushes at the moment i don't have a brush cleaner so i just use some dawn dish soap because it's super gentle and i'll just put the soap in the palm of my hand wet the brushes and and then gently swirl it in my hand and you'll literally be able to see all the makeup run out and you're gonna want to do this until your brush runs clear my brushes were super stained and so i tried my best but i'm definitely gonna have to do this a couple more times before they're at their like peak cleanness but they definitely were so much cleaner than they were before so i was very very happy and very thankful that i finally was able to sit down and designated some time to cleaning them because they were in desperate need of it for the rest of my bathroom i also 
clean my toilet and my actual shower. I forgot to show you guys my toilet, but I just used some Comet and then those bleach gels. And then for my bathtub, I use this Method bathtub cleaner. It has this really, really strong pine scent and I'll spray that all over and then scrub it down with a mixture of some Dawn dish soap. My bathtub wasn't that dirty, so it didn't take me that long. I also sprinkle on some Comet, which has like a mixture of bleach in it. And I'll just go to town with scrubbing this. And then for my sink, I use that same Method bathroom cleaner and just sprayed it down once again, cleaning it with some Dawn dish soap. At first, I accidentally <laughs> sprinkled some Comet and then I realized that the Comet has bleach in it and then I started to freak out, but it was all fine. But I just scrubbed that with a different sponge. And then once the surface is all dry, I'll go in with some Windex just to give it a nice shine and finish. Next, it's time to vacuum. I'll just vacuum really quickly. I actually love vacuuming. You never realize how dirty your floor is until you vacuum. Vacuuming actually makes the biggest difference. It's kind of insane. So I'll vacuum and then I'll also kind of semi-mop with my Swiffer. The Swiffer head like soaked towelettes that I bought were not the right one for my specific Swiffer. That's why it kind of looks like it's falling off because they're a little bit too big. But I try to make do with what I have and it works perfectly fine. And last but not least, this little cherry topper. I use this Febreze fabric spray. It's in the April Fresh set. Step number three, a healthy grocery shop. Trust me y'all, relationship weight gain is real. I gained a lot of weight this past year because I was in a healthy relationship with myself. I really want to get back to the snatchiness that I had once upon a time, so to the salon. I went to Trader Joe's to pick up some groceries. I made a list of things that I needed, which was basically everything because I went home from the holidays and came back to nothing. I'm not following a specific diet yet. I'm just kind of picking and choosing what feels good to me. I might go on some type of tuned diet starting later this month. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, here are the healthy groceries that I ended up getting. Do you guys ever do shopping trips that literally feel like it took 30 years off your life but let's get into everything that i got i just kind of grab whatever i feel like feels healthy-ish to me so i picked up some fruits i got some strawberries and some blueberries and then i picked up three bananas and an avocado i wanted to grab more avocados but they weren't ripe yet so i only just grabbed one i got some large brown cage-free eggs i also picked up some romaine lettuce and some spinach two things of chicken breast i got inspired by my parents both of them are doing a little juice cleanse right now they're doing it for religious reasons but like i said i was inspired so i did want to pick up some juices i got this cold pressed red juice i love beet juice my mom makes the best beet juice and so hopefully this tastes somewhat similar next is this lemon ginger cayenne celery juice regular cold pressed green juice this one has like kale spinach apple cucumber celery all the good stuff i'm very very excited to try those ones out i love the juices from pressed juicery and so hopefully these are just as good i got a cucumber cucumbers are my favorite i love cucumber salad some greek low-fat yogurt i use this as a substitute for sour cream i'm obsessed with making tacos it's probably the only thing i know how to make so I also picked up my favorite types of salsa. I got the extra hot habanero salsa and then just the regular pico de gallo. Picked up some granola. This used to be my favorite granola when I was younger and I saw a girl on TikTok eating it and I just realized that I hadn't had it in so long so I didn't want to pick it up. I think it's so freaking good. It is the pumpkin seed and flax granola. I normally buy pre-made salad packs but I do want to get into making them myself. So I picked up some Caesar dressing and this one is a vegan Caesar dressing so it's made with tofu. I also picked up some oat milk. This one is the Chobani oat milk. It is the best one. So some Parmesan cheese for my pastas and my salad, corn for my tacos and my salad. Another lifetime ago, I used to drink bone broth in the morning and I really wanna get back into doing it. So I picked up some of the organic chicken bone broth. I picked up some black tea because I love drinking unsweetened iced tea. The Oikos protein vanilla yogurt is the best yogurt. It is so freaking good and has 23 grams of protein in it. And if you're like me and struggle to get your protein in, things like that really help. Low fat cottage cheese. I'm such a cottage cheese girl. It's ridiculous i got some flowers because last semester i was so good about buying myself flowers every like two weeks and it just adds such an element to your room and it makes me so happy getting them for myself so i picked up some new ones to start the year off right gokujang is amazing to add into any like noodle dish that you make also the cucumber salad i know i said i make tacos but i more so make taco bowls and so this is what i use to kind of just dip everything in scrumptious beautiful work of art 
And yeah, that was everything that I got from the grocery store. I And now I'm just gonna spend about like an hour trying to Tetris everything into my refrigerator. Step number four, create a vision board. Okay, so next step on the agenda is that I'm going to be making my digital vision board. If you guys don't know, I already did make a physical vision board. I actually showed how I made it on my TikTok, so definitely go check that out. Actually, it's over there. I'm gonna go grab it so I can share it with you guys. This is it. Isn't it so freaking cute? I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It has everything that I want to accomplish this year and basically for the rest of my life. And I actually have so many pictures. I did a back as well. Like, are you kidding? I have so much on here because I have so much that I want to manifest into fruition and just speak into existence this year. So yeah, that was my physical board. I have it sitting above my other desk in my room, but I really want to make a digital one as well. One that I could put on the background of my computer screen, just because at the moment I'm working remote, I'm working from home. And so I'm constantly on my laptop, constantly opening it up. So yeah, let's go make our digital vision board. Creating a digital vision board can be a super powerful tool to help you visualize and work towards your goals. By seeing them visually, not only does it make it seem more possible to obtain but also can motivate you when you have no motivation left there are multiple ways to create one but i personally use pinterest and canva first you're going to want to start off by searching for images on pinterest that align with your goals and aspirations in life these could be images representing career achievements travel destinations personal growth or any other goals that you have i like to do a mixture of everything both personal career quotes wellness all of that stuff so i'll pick out things that i want to do for my career and the position that i want how much money i I want to make things like that people that i want to have in my life things i want to be doing with my free time and then of course wellness ways that i care for myself and then don't forget to add quotes because i think those add a nice touch and a nice healthy reminder next you're gonna head over to canva this is how we're gonna lay out the photos to fit as a desktop wallpaper once you choose the wallpaper format you can then upload the images that you saved from pinterest i personally like to layer the images instead of neatly collaging them so that it can add some dimension i love my physical vision board but i also also like having this digital version i'm somebody that's always on my devices like my ipad and laptop and phone and so this allows me to easily see and be reminded of my goals wherever i am every time i see it i'm just subconsciously reaffirming what i want in this world and this is how my digital vision board looked like when it was all said and done and i absolutely love how it came out Step number five, do the things that you've been procrastinating. Next thing up on the agenda is I really want to do all the things that I've been heavily procrastinating. And you guys can be making calls and appointments and checking up on anything really, anything that you've been pushing off. So if you've been meaning to get a haircut, if you've been meaning to get your toes done, a facial, a massage, but I mainly want to focus on appointments and just like the little things that are so easy to accomplish, but just doing it is the hardest step. I need to call my dentist. I'm trying to get an appointment appointment to get Invisalign, but we've had to do some like fine tweaking before I get it. I also need to book a laser hair removal appointment. I need to purchase my parking pass. I also need to pay a parking ticket. Five minutes later. Alrighty, and that actually took like 30 minutes max, but I've been procrastinating them all for the past two months. Great. Focus on your self-care and maintenance upkeep. In 2024, I'm trying to come in hot, both figuratively and literally. I'm actually thinking of doing a Globe series on my TikTok, so let me know if that would be something you guys would watch, and also make sure to follow me on there so you can keep up if I do end up posting it. But I felt like physically, I let myself go a lot in 2023 to be quite honest and because of that i lost a lot of my confidence and i really just was not feeling good about my body even though the external is only a small chunk of what makes up you and your confidence i really think there's nothing wrong with wanting to look your best on the outside as well as the inside so self-care nights are definitely needed and will be a consistent thing for all of us in 2024 and weekly maintenances self-care whatever it can look like exactly that whatever whether you like to laminate your eyebrows do your lash extensions put on a face mask tan everything shower whatever it may be just keeping up with your maintenance and yourself because truly when you look good you feel good write a list of what your dream self looks like i actually did this today and let me tell you guys it was so liberating a lot of the times we have this dream version of ourselves in our head but the idea can get so fogged and overwhelming so putting it down on paper really allows you to clearly see this version of yourself and you can really get down to the nitty-gritty with this one what job does she have what do people say when they talk about her what does she do for fun what's a typical day in her life where does she live what is her partner like where does she travel to if you're like me and you have some big goals you can make pages filled with this stuff and i would just say really allow yourself to make this list without any buts or any limiting beliefs no wondering how you're gonna achieve it no doubting if it's gonna happen or not 
just sit there and feel. Okay, everyone, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this New Year's reset video and that it could really be motivational for you all starting your 2024 off on a really good note. I will see you all in my next one. And until then, I love you. Bye.